sliding door on the driver's side has the following symptom. Okay, so notice what it's doing. It's pulling the door shut. I'll just reverse it here. It pulls it too far in, strains and releases. One more time without me talking over it. Then if you try to drive the vehicle after it does this, the uh, side door warning will beep continuously as if you have left the door open, but you haven't. So I'm going to show you exactly what is wrong with this door. At the rear of the door, we are going to remove these three screws because the whole assembly inside the door needs to be removed and lubricated. Inside the vehicle, you need to remove the inner door panel, which is somewhat of a challenge, but there are plenty of videos that show you how to do that. At the rear of the door, with it slightly cracked, you're going to see uh, this screw here, the screw here. I believe uh, we might get into that one. Uh, but that's going to remove this entire mechanism here. This top nut only needs to be loosened enough to slide over and go th out through that hole when you remove the, the mechanism out. Um, this electrical connection has to come apart and there's one down here as well. You will also need to disconnect this from the uh, metal portion of the door and then this whole unit here is going to slide out. To do that, by the way, it's just simply get something behind it and pry out. There are two tabs that uh, pretty much give way when you pry it straight out. I'm going to do the same with this, so this cable leading down to the mechanism is free to come out with it. It helps tremendously to get this plastic panel popped behind the, uh, the metal uh, lip for the opening there. I told you it was not necessary to remove this bolt, but in fact it's going to be much easier if you just do pull it out. I also uh, was questioning whether this one had to come out, and I believe it does, so I'm taking it out as well. Okay, so I've been uh, wrestling this a little bit. I have rotated it counterclockwise, and I believe that's what's going to help it come out. Okay, I finally have it out. Rotating it counterclockwise did help, and also I had to maneuver it past a bracket for the back side of the window. It's the window track, so it's, it's where the window track mounts at the base. And I'll put this inside there so you can see what that bracket looks like. Okay, that is the window track bracket, and I had to uh, just move it around slightly to get this mechanism out. The back side of this mechanism has a large plastic cover. Uh, it looks like just a couple of screws and we'll have that off. Once you do that, the entire plastic cover rotates up. There's some tape holding it on and we have the entire mechanism visible. There are all kinds of parts that move in here and every single one of them has evidence of lubrication on it, uh, some type of grease. I'll be using some white lithium grease that's made for metal to metal connections. Um, I believe the problem is in this portion here where when that is pushed this has uh, some movement and when this is released the other way it snaps back. Those just seem a little gummy to me. So I'll be spraying some white lithium grease in there making sure they're all freed up and work the way they are supposed to. Okay, I have some cardboard down to uh, protect the van. And again, I'm going to spray some white lithium grease. Uh, I'm trying not to make a mess, but it does need some lube. I could take this apart, but I'm trying to get by without having to. But just just everything that everything that rotates. Anytime there's metal sliding on metal, 
you want just a little bit of lube in there. Be nice if they made these cans so you could get a small spray. Sometimes they seem to be all or nothing. I've heard of these switches here going bad. Uh, so that's a possibility. I'm keeping that in mind, but I'm trying the lubrication first. Okay, so I'll get as many more pieces uh, lubricated as I can, and then we'll put it back together and see what happens. There are many parts that become accessible as soon as you rotate something, so uh, be sure and turn it all around different directions and move things and you will suddenly see more springs and uh, pivot points that need lubrication. Even looking at the backside exposes some some pivot points like down in here you can shoot some uh, lubricant and it will go between the two metal plates. One of the things I'm hoping to solve is just that the car will know that the door is actually shut. So my theory is this pin is probably the locking pin. Um, when it's pushed over, watch what happens up here and the blue switch is activated. See, so if that is gummed up and it's not making contact with the switch, the car is not sensing that the door is closed. So that's my theory anyway, we'll see what happens. The same thing is true over here, so that's why I am lubing everything. I will give you a piece of advice. There is a metal bracket on the bottom of the power window track. And if you bump that too much, it's going to fall off down inside your door and you need something with a magnet to get it out because I couldn't reach it with my bare hands. So beware, this bracket does separate. It took me a while to wrestle this back in and the secret to the puzzle is you have to get the uh, black bracket in first the, the plastic bracket that goes in facing towards the front of the van and uh, the whole mechanism can then be dropped in um, in this position and just simply goes in and down and in. Okay, here's another hint. When you are placing this entire mechanism back in the door, you have to push the window track all the way toward the outside of the door and even maybe twist it about 90 degrees in order to get this bracket behind it. Don't forget these three bolts back here at the latch. Um, they're all the same size, so just get them in, get them snugged up. One great tip I got from Eric the car guy is to use one quarter inch tools and uh, even grip it close to the head of the ratchet because it is very easy to over torque these and strip them right out. So if you're doing this, you're going to feel them get tight. It's going to take some muscle to get them snugged up, but you're not going to overdo it and strip them out. One thing you want to be absolutely sure you check before you go to the trouble of putting this entire door panel back together is that the window goes down and there's no binding or anything, uh, which would indicate the track is not in its correct position. So there's our window. It goes down just like it should. Now I'm confident about putting that back together. You know something that you might as well do while you have the door panel off, um, such a rare opportunity, spray silicone on a paper towel, reach all the way up into the window track, the part you can never reach because it's inside the door, and put the paper towel in the track, run it up and down, get that um, that whole track uh, full of silicone and your windows will go up and down like they were brand new. Okay, I'm ready for the first test. Obviously something wrong there. I probably don't have something lined up. Or maybe the lock is closed and it should be open. Let's try this one more time. That works. Here we go again. Notice it is not over pulling the door and then releasing it later. It's going right where it should be and then stopping as it should. 
So it's just a simple fact that this mechanism is coming up on 14 years old. The original lube from the factory is gummed up and it just needs more lube. So this will actually cost you nothing but an hour or two of your time in the driveway. So I hope that helps. Good luck with yours.